Now many people ask me how I'm able to pay myself first. Oh, it's hard. Oh, it's not simple. Oh, it's impossible. No, it's not impossible. It is very possible if you have some type of plan or budget in place. But before we get started, welcome. I'm Brandon Young. On this channel, I teach you how to make, save, and invest money. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. Now paying yourself can be seen as very risky to some people because they're like, oh, I gotta have my bills. I, got, I gotta make sure those are paid because the lights can't go off. Well, it's all about having your plan and budget in place where the money is being allocated so you know that your lights won't go off. But the first thing that I gotta say about paying yourself is number one right here, you need to have a budget in place where is your money going every single month you need to know this you need to know where your money is getting allocated to because if your money does not have a plan then your money will aimlessly fly out your wallet fly at your, your account as soon as you receive it so first thing you need to do is have a budget in place and honestly guys i'm gonna say this is one of the hardest things that's gonna be on this list because a lot of people do not have a budget and they do not stay true to it i mean some people do have a budget but it's all about having the budget and staying true to it so number one is actually having that budget in place because it's gonna help you immensely now once you finish this first one creating your budget the second thing that you need to do is you need to get involved with an online banking such as chime and there's a few others that you can get involved with the reason why i say that is because one they do allow you to create multiple savings accounts which is what's going to make this possible to pay yourself first but you want to get involved with them because one they're going to offer you a higher interest rate because they do not have brick and mortar locations which enables them to offer you more percentage of interest so what you want to do is get involved with them I personally use Chime but there are so many different alternatives so you can get involved with them so second thing is you want to have a checking online checking now once you create this online checking account the next thing is you're gonna want to have five different accounts now the reason for this is you're gonna see why but we're going to be separating these into five different categories of what you should be putting into these accounts for future reference and obviously if you're gonna tell me Brandon well how am I gonna do this because I don't have enough money to allocate it well this is why you should be following my different ways on how to make extra money because obviously if you're not making enough money and you don't have enough money to allocate towards emergency funds, saving, investing, all these other things, then that is a problem and you should be making more money. Now the first thing that you want to allocate money to or the first savings account you want to create is a retirement account. Pretty much you want to be allocating some type of money through that. Now obviously when it comes to 401k, IRAs, accounts like that, they do have a limit that you can put into it every single year. I think for IRAs it's somewhere between six to nine thousand dollars that you can put into that. So don't quote me on that but you should be allocating how okay how much can i put into this account have it budgeted in into your budget and set some money aside weekly or bi-weekly or monthly so you can add to this now obviously the plan for each person is going to be different it's gonna depend on your situation how much money you're making because obviously some people have more jobs some people have more passive income people have different investments so it's all gonna pertain to how much money you make everybody can do it and it is very possible so the first savings account or account that you want to create is a retirement account so you can be putting some type of money in there every single Month. now currently I put in about hundred twenty five bucks every single paycheck some people are able to do that some people aren't like I said it's gonna pertain to your actual situation and what you can do but as long as you're putting some type of money into that account you should be fine now the second thing that I see a lot of people they don't put any money into this is they do not have some type of savings account or emergency fund guys when it comes to these accounts emergency funds are so important because a lot of people when they have to go into an emergency or if they have some type of life-changing event 
that happens to them, most of the time people have to go into debt to pay for this and that's unacceptable. It is very bad that if you somehow like your car breaks down or if you have a family emergency or you have to take an emergency trip or if you have a funeral, anything of that sort you should be prepared for. Most of Americans when those things happen they have to take some type of loan out or they have to go into debt to pay that and that is absolute terrible so you should have an emergency fund people say two to three months I say that you should have up to six to eight months prepared just in case of an emergency just in case anything bad happens because if you're prepared then the hit will be less strenuous being hit with something like that doesn't it's not really good it doesn't fit right now currently I don't put in that much into it but the fact that I do have something saved up it's it's gonna help me in the long run just in case something does happen. I save about 75 bucks of this for that every paycheck, I believe. Now, next thing that we have on this list is, it's gonna be pretty miscellaneous. It's gonna depend on what type of person you are. Whether that you're a person that likes to travel or something of that sort, you can put it on there because obviously you wanna be prepared for it. You don't wanna be just taking trips out of the blue and like you're not prepared for it and when you come back, oh, you can't afford it. You wanna be prepared for these trip so the next thing you want to have is a traveling account now as I said this is gonna differentiate or this is gonna be different for you depending on what type of person you are if you're somebody who doesn't like to travel then you don't have to have a travel account you can change the name of the account maybe you're into cars or you're maybe into a different activity just change it based off your personality but for traveling you want to be prepared you want to have some type of account so just in case you are ready to travel or go outside the country you're prepared for it you're not going into debt you're not taking out loans to do these things you want to be prepared for everything so with a traveling account I put in roughly nothing major about 50 bucks and like I said these numbers they don't seem that huge guys you know I'm not a person that is gonna be putting in a lot of money every single month I mean I put most of it into my investing but pertaining to how you are your personality it's good to save some type of money rather than have no money saved or no money putting towards investing so just remember that now the next thing we have is for a car now I personally my dream car is an Audi R8 those are a pretty petty they cost a lot they're around 68,000 to 70,000 and obviously that's my dream car but you know it's gonna take me a while to save up for that but the fact that I have some type of fund that I'm putting forth that I'm saving money towards I'm not taking out any auto loans or any leasing or anything like that I'm when I plan to get it I plan to pay for it full cash from the money that I have saved up now obviously that is probably a bad example of a car to get but depending on your budget if you are saving up for a car look at your budget see what you can afford obviously if you're gonna try to get a $50,000 car and your budget doesn't allow you to do so maybe that Benz that you're looking at eh, maybe that's not the right choice maybe a Honda or Toyota or something of that sort will be up your alley remember you don't want to be going out of pocket to get things that you can't afford because it's gonna just keep you in the rat race long so you want to be putting some type of money towards your car now obviously like I said the Audi R8 that is my dream car it's not a necessity you know this car thing is just something that I put aside every single month that I know it's there but for your case depending on your budget and what you can afford you know you can put some money towards it a hundred a hundred fifty if you just need a car to get around it doesn't have to be anything crazy and before you know it if you have this money saving every week every two weeks and it's for like a hundred to two hundred dollars you're saving this up religiously within the next two to three months you could have a car that you saved up for you paid for it free and clear you didn't have to get into any debt to get it now for this I roughly pay about 75 bucks as well last thing that we have here is the big kahuna which is the house now houses do cost way more money they're way more important a lot of people uh, depending on your situation they're gonna want to rent depending on where they live depending on their personality a lot of people I find they don't even want houses nowadays they'd rather rent because they don't want to go through the headache of paying for housing repairs and all that that stuff but having a house can be truly a life-changing experience but it all depends on you what you want to do with your life and how you want to plan it so having a house 
I roughly save and I save a lot for this because I'm trying to buy my own rental property and I want to do a lot with it and this is my way to get a foot through the door but obviously when it comes to a house I save around $1,200 a month yeah that's how kind of devoted I am to it this is why when I tell you you need to have a lot of streams of income because a lot of people will say 1200 but are you using your whole paycheck that you're getting from your regular job no this is why it is very essential that if you aren't making enough money to have these different you know avenues or save into these different avenues you should be trying to look for different side hustles different ways to make money different passive income streams you no know, taking up an extra shift or taking up a different job if you want to be successful you got to grind it out you got to do what you got to do so me personally i have about five different income streams so this what enables me to save this month on a monthly basis now let's just do a quick recap so if you want to pay yourself first first thing that you want to do is to make sure you have your budget in place having a budget will make sure that your money isn't going to places aimlessly next thing that you want to do is you want to set up on some type of online checking account where you can create multiple accounts the better ones are the online ones because they don't have brick and mortar locations and they allow you to get better interest rates on your money that you're putting in there the next thing is you want to have some type of retirement account that you're putting money into every single month to ensure that you're investing and you're gaining some type of money from investments the next thing that you want to have is a savings and an emergency or this they can be two but you want to have emergency fund just in case bad things happen you are prepared for them next thing that you want to have is some type of you know secondary account if you are a traveler you want to be prepared to travel as i said before this is going to be different depending on the type of person you are so if you are somebody who doesn't travel travel that much then it can be a different category but you understand that you you will have have money to put forth into that account next thing that you want to have is towards a car now like i said this could be different because maybe you're somebody who doesn't drive or maybe you're somebody who doesn't have such a big car goal but as long as you're putting money towards it you're not taking mon money out aimlessly or taking out loans to pay these out then you should be good and then the last and final thing we have is the house now as i said it's going to be different pertaining to who you are and what you you know get value of so if you don't really necessarily want a house then maybe you can turn this into a different savings or maybe you can have this as an account or a real estate account that you can save to invest into some real estate maybe you like to rent your um current apartment so this account can be just a real estate investment account it's all gonna be different pertaining onto you and your personality but as long as you have some type of plan in place you should be good and this is how you pay yourself first if you enjoyed this video if you like this new style of videos that i'm creating be sure to let me know in the comment section below i am brandon young hope you enjoyed this leave a like subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Peace.